Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay with Short Point Creations and in this video, we're gonna be making the header for this Craftsman style trim set, okay? It's a Craftsman style bull nose because of the bull nose here and the bull nose down here. Uh, I'm gonna make it out of one sheet of MDF, the router table and the table saw, but let's get right into the build. Here we go. All right guys, so step one in making this trim is you rip your MDF sheet down, you make two rips at two inches wide, and you glue those together and you make a rough blank. These are simply two pieces of three quarter inch MDF glued together two inches wide. All right, once that's dry, I go in and I take my joiner and I joint and plane the blank and I make it, um, now it's one and three eighths by one and a half, all right? Now this is your final size. This is what we're gonna turn into trim. So next we head over to the router table and that's where everything's gonna take place on this for the most part, except every once in a while we hit the table saw. All right, check it out. So first we're gonna do the bull nose, uh, the large bull nose right here, uh, followed by the cove, and then we'll do uh, the other pieces. And we put our bull nose bit into the router table. And what I did was I set the height so that my prototype piece here will actually flow through that bit, we know that we're at the right height for our new blank. So the next thing to do would be to cut this cove into our blank. And for that, we're gonna to have to replace the router bit. I have a Jessam router lift and I have the Jessam fence, but I'm also gonna install something else. All right, these are the clear cut guides from Jessam. And what these do is these act almost like a feather board in a way when you're ripping. One, they won't allow kickback because they only go in one direction, but they're actually skewed a little bit, the wheels, so that they actually push the material towards the fence, locking it up against it. All right, so now let's go ahead and cut our cove. All right, now one thing I wanna mention real quick is that typically if this was a hardwood or any you know regular wood, I wouldn't take this big of a chunk out. I would uh, you know run a couple passes on the uh, router table. It's a lot to take for you know one pass on that bit. But since this is MDF and stuff disintegrates basically, um, it's usually not a problem. If we take a look close up here, okay. Get on the side profile. All right, so now what we've got is we've got our cove cut, we've got our bull nose, we've got an overhang here, right? And that is way too big, but that's okay. We take that out on the table saw and we're gonna take this out on the table saw. So if we look at our prototype compared to our new blank, we're right on the money, okay? We're looking good. So now we need to head over to the table saw. Now, what we need to do is we need to remove this piece right here, okay? And that's very straightforward. That's just a run over the table saw with our blade set very low, uh, and that it just will trim this off. Okay, so we're gonna do that now. So now we have that piece trimmed off. Now, if we look at our prototype here compared to our blank, all right, we've got this piece that's hanging off right here, which is not here, okay, that's trimmed. So next thing we have to do is trim that right there. All right, and that's simply done by
first we can move the table saw over and eye it for now and raise up the blade okay and then we move the fence it was right where we want it okay what we plan on doing is we plan on creeping up on this trim here okay so i've got the height set it's probably going to score it right there uh, and then I'll raise it up, make another pass, raise it up, make another pass until it cuts it to the perfect height. So first we're gonna make our bottom cut this way here, right? And that's gonna give us our three quarter inch distance from front to back. And then we're gonna come, and then we're gonna make our back cut, which then we'll be able to take that piece out and we'll have our cap. All right, so now that we've got our cap cut, this is our one by material, right? And this is what the cap's gonna do. It's just gonna simply go right up on top like that, okay? All right, so now that we've got the cap portion finished of the Craftsman trim, we wanna go ahead and we wanna do our bottom bull nose. Using a sheet of MDF, I created a one and one sixteenth by seven sixteenth inch blank, all right? Now we're going to take it over to the uh, router table and make it a bull nose. All right, hey, real quick, I brought you in close here because I want to show you something, how to set up this bit, what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, there we go. So what I do is I basically take my blank and I want it to be centered on that bull nose bit right there, okay? And what that'll do is that'll eliminate having any edges from this part of the bit right here, okay? All right, so really quick, here's what we did. All right, after that cut, we got a nice, uh, bull nose profile on this. Now the only thing we gotta do is we have to bull nose the edges as well, all right? Now for that, the easiest way would be to take the stock and just, you know, take it like this and go across, right? Nice and easy. I wish you could do that, man. You know how fast you jam this thing in there? All hell would break loose. So, so I do have the woodpecker's uh, coping sled, which would make this job real simple, but since I'm still setting everything up, it's packed away somewhere. So we're just gonna use a square piece of wood. All right, so we've made all the components we need in order to build our Craftsman bullnose trim. We've got our cap, we've got our one by material, and we've got our bottom bullnose. So just to put it together, we would take some glue, put the bottom bullnose on, 
and put our cap on. So once you have this all assembled, then you would take a one by four material on each side of the window or door and then run that down uh, to another one by six that would sit on the bottom. So hey guys, hopefully that explains in a little bit more detail how to make some Craftsman Bullnose Trim. If you have any questions, please shoot me a comment, shoot me an email, whatever. Um, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and share it with a friend of yours if you think they'd like it. Truly appreciate it guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.